this video, I'm going to show you how to do the report on the video that you made using Edu Creations, and also how to do a report on the worksheet worksheet that you made that goes with the video that you made for Edu Creations. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is to go to Google Drive and then log in. Okay, and then after you log in, you go to your worksheet that you created. For example, here's comparative and superlatives. I'll go to view responses. And this will take me to the, um, what's it called, to this page where I have all the responses from all the students who answered the questions that I sent out to them on the worksheet. And then um, you go to insert, script, and then you choose from the script, the script gallery, you type Fluburu, F-L-U-B-A-R-O, Fluburu, and then search. And then, okay, and then install. It's already installed, so for me, but it will have to install for you. And if it's not installed on your computer, then you just hit agree, agree, okay, 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 yes, 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 okay. And then once it's there, you go to, you'll see that there is Fluburu, is an option added here at the top of the toolbar. And you can open that up, and then you say regrade assignment, or in your case, it will be grade assignment. So then you just go yes, okay. And then this window will pop open, and you will have to choose um, which of these questions identifies a student, like this one here, name, section number. And then if it just identifies a student, you put that, okay? University email address, okay, okay. Uh, right, all right, okay. This one should be skip grading. There's no question there, all right. And then you just choose how much, how many points you want to give to each question that you have there, okay? If there's no actual question, then there should be no points involved. So you just hit skip grading, okay? So here, this is, I chose skip grading here because this, this right here, the sentence, just the directions for the student. Okay, and then continue. After you've done that, after you've chosen which questions identify the students and which questions are actually worth points and how many points for each question, then you go here and you select the answer key, which should be your first, your first response to the question so that the script, Fluburu, knows how to mark the other responses you got from the other students. Okay. All right, and then continue. All right, it'll take just a minute to grade your assignment. All right, and then you'll see, okay, and then you can go to view grades after it's finished grading, finished marking, and you can see right here in column F on this particular sheet how many students got it right and how many got it wrong. Okay, if it's in the red, then it's bad. If it's in the black, it's good. Okay, and then you can, if you go over here to the right, you can see which questions were most difficult for the students. The orange is difficult. Uh, in other words, most students failed with these questions here. All right, and then for a more detailed analysis of, your, of the information that you've collected, you go to form here. And then you go to show summary of responses. Yeah, that one right there. And this gives you a very nice graphic representation of the information for each question. Screenshot of each question, like this. And then after you take all the screenshots of the, let's see, we need question three and four here. All right, like that. Okay, do that, you get all the screenshots, and then you send those screenshots 
to your iPad, to your university email, or your regular email, and then you open them, and then you save them in your camera roll, and then you can put them into EduCreations, and then you can talk about them. And that's how you do the report for the video lesson you did in EduCreations and the Google worksheet that goes with it. Okay, so I hope that's clear now. All right, you can also do this. Let's see, you can go to, you can look at the questions here and you can get like, you can take a screenshot of the uh, percentages if you'd like, if that helps you to explain whether or not the students learned their lesson. You can do that or you can, um, you can feel free to explain the information that you got from the other students in any way you like but the easiest way is to do it like I just showed you with screenshots from Google Form and uh, using EduCreations okay so if you have any questions email me come to my office or just ask me in class alright I'll see you later Masalemi.